In this video, we'll talk through the Square KDS and some of its main features. There's two main tabs, one for completed orders and another for orders that are still open and pending. Expos can tap at the bottom of a ticket to prioritize it ahead of other tickets. You can tap on a line item to complete that line item or the ticket header to complete the entire ticket. In the completed tab, an expo can recall a ticket to all other expo stations or to all stations if it needs to be remade. The button on the top left expands the menu. This has the all day counts, which you can see as a list or in a full screen. Scrolling down, you can also adjust item availability or access your settings page from the sidebar. Let's walk through your settings starting with routing. Within routing, you can configure exactly what tickets you want to show up. For example, you can select which points of sale you want to receive tickets from. You can also select or unselect if you want online orders to show up on this KDS and choose when you want those online orders to show up. Further, you can customize which dining options you want to show up on this KDS. Next, you can toggle the items and categories you want to show up on this KDS. Next, let's talk about layout. You can choose which ticket layout works best for your kitchen simply by clicking on the settings page and then navigating back to the main screen. In addition to the layout, you can also customize the ticket appearance. We have two different headers you can choose from. Furthermore, you can customize the colors of the headers based on the dining option of that ticket. If you have coursing enabled, you can decide if you want held items to show up. To keep things moving on time, you can set the headers to turn yellow and red after specified amounts of time.